Hi guys, welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we are going to talk about the different blockchains, trying to understand if there is one ecosystem that is more secure compared to the other ones. Because what is undeniable is that if during a bull market, so during a bull run, when all the prices are skyrocketing, almost all the blockchains are simply pumping no matter what. But during a bear market, it is not true anymore. What you need to understand right now is which ecosystem and what are the different features and variables that are giving us a more safe environment and are allowing us to protect our investments. That's what we will go through today. And just before to start, guys, remember, if you enjoy this content, remember to leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. In this way, you are also helping us to sustain this channel. And also remember that this channel is about education. What I really want to help you is to increase your awareness, showing you different scenarios about DeFi and what's going on into the market right now. It's not about financial advice. Okay, guys, so let's start immediately. So as you can see, and as you probably know, Ethereum is the main blockchain when we are talking about DeFi. As you can see, in any case, the dominance of Ethereum has gone down during all of this cycle. After what happened with Terra, so the big crash that involved Terra, USD and Luna, the balance has changed because as you can see also from the numbers down here, you can see the last couple of days, Ethereum exactly as Binance Smart Chain and Solana are the only ones that were growing. Yes, to be honest and to be fair, also Tron, that is the one that is performing at best right now, and it is the only one that in the last month has seen an increasing into the total value locked. This is mainly related to the adoption of USDD. They are investing massively into that stablecoin. If you wanna know more about uh, uh, that project and about stablecoins in general, I highly recommend you to check this video that I have just released the other day, and I'm going through the different points that are uh, related to this topic that is really a delicate topic. But what is interesting is that Ethereum for the first time after months has been growing again and has increased its own share, so its own dominance into the market by more than what was happening previously. And that's a big sign, a sign of a reversal trend. Because as I was saying previously, if during bull run, mostly the small project, the small blockchains are growing more because they have more upside. When the market is going down, this situation is changing completely. And that's also the reason why you are seeing more people moving from the smaller blockchains to the more safe ones. I want to add also that the reason why also more people are going right now back to Ethereum is that right now the gas fees are not anymore so high. And on the other side, another big topic is this one, the merge of Ethereum that will go from a proof of work to a proof of stake that is going every day closer. We still don't have an official statement on when the merge will happen. So we still don't know when we will go from a proof of work to a proof of stake, but it should happen this year and rumors are saying that it will happen in the summer around August. I don't know. What is true is that sooner or later it will happen and it will, or at least it can be a big driver for Ethereum to grow. In any case, remember, this is not the only update that will come on Ethereum. After that, also the sharding will come, but it will require after that more time. And it is that one, that update that will bring more scalability into the Ethereum uh, blockchain. In any case, uh, uh, we should always take a look to that news because it is something that can be a, a driver to restart the market and to bring a new like uh, maybe DeFi summer also on Ethereum and all of the different blockchains. Until then, we have to pay attention because the situation is quite delicate. And in a moment, I will show you what are the risks connected to each protocol according to which blockchain they are using. Because remember, there is a, a strong relationship between the price of the token, the risk connected to a certain protocol and the uh, blockchain 
that they are using and I will show you it in a moment. Before that, I wanna stop for a moment and I wanna talk about a clean carbon. I don't know if you remember, we were doing a giveaway about $500 dollar of clean carbon uh, tokens that will uh, go to one person. This person is coming from Argentina and his name is Barreto. Uh, you should have been already contacted by the email that you have been uh, providing. If you have any kind of problem, feel free to uh, contact me on Telegram and I will put in contact you with uh, the team. In any case, I already shared uh, your contacts to the team, so you should be able to talk with them in the best way in order to retrieve your uh, giveaway. Uh, Clean Carbon, for uh, the people that don't know this project, we have been talking about uh, it a couple of times and they have also released a, a video this video here that I will let you uh, watch while I'm talking. This is a project that is quite inter interesting because it is trying to merge the power of DeFi to a real installment. The installment, so the physical device, is what you are seeing into the video. It aims to clean the environment producing new energies and different kind of products through uh, the use of different disposals that will go through this uh, machine producing different final uh, products. And on top of it, they are building also a DeFi platform with their own token that is the Clean Carbo uh, token that has gone uh, through the pre-sale that has just ended, they have been able to uh, collect something around $2.5 million. And the launch of the token, as you can see from their uh, Twitter, it has been postponed due to what happened to uh, the market right now. Obviously, remember that launching a project into this market condition, it is not the best environment. Also for you, if you are following some kind of pre-sale, some kind of launch, remember, Investing right now in a pre-sale is not like investing in a pre-sale like eight months ago. During a bull run, everything after a pre-sale will simply pump for no reason. Right now, it is much more delicate. So pay attention because any kind of investment that you are doing right now or is a long-term, for real long-term investment or just trying to speculate because at the launch, the price will simply pump could be not so true anymore. So pay attention to it because right now it is much more delicate. In any case, they are launching the token the uh, 12th of June, so on Sunday at 1 p.m. UTC. So mark this date because that's the moment when you will have the opportunity to uh, buy or sell the token according to if you are a holder or not. Uh, down here you can find also the information about uh, carbo vesting. So if you have any holding you can check here the vesting period and also if you are uh, eligible for an airdrop here you can find all the information. In any case keep an eye on this kind of project because that's quite interesting. Remember DeFi and cryptos are not something that is just um, abstract that you can use it only into the blockchain. Because remember, the more we are able to create use cases into the real world, into the traditional market, using and applying the power of blockchain of the DeFi, the more the whole ecosystem will grow. I will leave in any case all the contacts and all the links, useful links about Clean Carbo into the description below. So going back to our blockchains and why according to which blockchain you are using or which blockchain a project is deployed, also the price and the risk connected to that protocol could be different. For example, a project that is only on Ethereum will be usually more stable than a project that is only deployed on Phantom or Polygon. Because remember, most of the time, this project are having their uh, tokens that could share some liquidity with the uh, main token of the blockchain. For example, if you are having Phantom that is dumping much more than Ethereum and in some way the token of the protocol is pegged or is connected uh, the liquidity with what is happening with Phantom, that token will suffer much more than the one that is just on Ethereum. Obviously, it doesn't mean that um, a project is on Ethereum will not uh, dump. We have seen projects, I still believe they have great fundamentals like Tokemak, that is uh, just a project that is a niche right now, but uh, the price of that token, it is simply uh, 
going down so fast and it is bleeding a lot. But it doesn't mean that the fundamentals has changed in somehow. It simply means that the smaller is a project, also higher is the volatility into the price. Because remember, if the liquidity is low, it is enough much less effort to manipulate the price, to dump, and even a small whale that is simply selling their tokens in order to cover, to change some kind of strategy, or just to try to provoke a panic sell, it is possible because if there is low liquidity, it is much easier to uh, sunk uh, some kind of project. I want to share with you uh, another thing. As you can see from, uh, according to CoinGecko, uh, BNB and ETH are reacting much better than the other layer ones. For example, in the last 30 days, BNB has gone down by 27%, Ethereum by 34%, Cardano by 44, Solana by uh, 52, and Polkadot by 47. So as you can see, projects like BNB and ETH are much more resilient into this market condition. And that's the reason why also the ecosystem, even if the market is bleeding, are the only two or almost that are having a positive balance right now because usually not only they are the biggest one because as you can see on ethereum we have almost 500 protocols and on binance smart chain we are having around 400 protocols they are reacting much better than for example avalanche and the all the tokens that are connected to alex so what i want to say to you guys pay attention that the smaller is an ecosystem the more at risk it is uh, on the other side, remember that there is always some kind of correlation between the price of the main currency of the blockchain, for example, ETH on Ethereum, a CRO with a Kronos chain, and so on, with the price of the tokens of the protocols that are deployed on that blockchain. On the other side also, as we were talking about in one of my previous videos, I'm leaving the link into the right corner here, remember that in this phase, many DeFi projects will die. Why will die? Because the lower is the value of the token, also most of the time, the lower is the ability for the project to invest. Because many times the uh, development of the project is coming from funds that are coming directly from the sale of the tokens. And the lower is the value of the token, lower also is the ability for the project to create, to being able to fund their effort. So this is something that you should take in account. And that's the reason why personally in this phase, I prefer projects that are backed by VCs that are able to access more funds much more quicker than others. But that's just my personal opinion. Feel free to share what is your and how you are approaching this market and which project do, in your opinion, is doing the best part. So just to recapitulate, remember guys, this market phase is quite delicate. And as you can see also from the Bitcoin dominance, the Bitcoin dominance is growing, has been growing in the last couple of weeks. And that's the reason why also many different tokens are suffering much more. Don't be too exposed right now to the DeFi tokens. Yes, with any probability, we will see sooner or later a new big pump into the price of all the tokens related to the DeFi space but this will come only after and only in the moment when we will have again a reversal into the price into the bitcoin dominance the bitcoin dominance to see some kind of reversal some kind of pump into the DeFi space what we need to see is the bitcoin dominance going down as long as the bitcoin dominance is going up unfortunately all the protocols will suffer more and don't think for the only reason that a token has just gone down by 90% that it can go down by another 90%. Into the previous bull market, we have seen many tokens going down by 99%. This is something that is normal, unfortunately, into the crypto space and is much more likely as smaller is the market cap. So don't do the mistake just to say i'm buying right now because it's so cheap because it's 90 percent down 
wait for a bottom. In the moment when Bitcoin will go sideways and it will be again in accumulation phase in order to start pumping again immediately after, that is the best moment to buy. As long as Bitcoin is dumping as it is happening right now and be aware that even if Bitcoin will pump again by 20%, it doesn't mean that we are again in a bull run. It is just most of the time just a bounce, just a relief because nothing goes always down or always up. Wait for a clear sign of reversal and that will be the moment when we will see also the DeFi space growing. In this market phase, at least for my opinion, I'm following all the different projects, I'm studying all of them, trying to better understand their fundamentals and so on. Always being aware that in this moment, the ecosystems that are more solid are Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and all the biggest one that has already demonstrated to be resilient, to be able to go through a bear market. All the new ones, I'm not saying that they are bad. For example, I'm loving what the Phantom ecosystem is doing. I am uh, also really like the Kronos ecosystem and so on and many others. But the point is that they are more risky than what we have seen with Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain because they have a, a smaller, a shorter history. Guys, let me know what do you think. Remember, if you enjoy this content, leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. And guys, I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye.